Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 5th through the 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cancer. What is going on for you? Whew. The overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Wands. That's a lot of passion. That's nice. You got some nice energies flying around. There is a um, change towards the end here, but we'll get there. In the recent past, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance card. Definitely showing up for stability here. You know, um, there's a lot of... Um, like you owning it too, being like, yeah, I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah, I got this. I can do this, you know, um, which is great. There's a lot of sense of confidence within you to sustain this, to create this and maybe not only to create it, but to sustain it, especially, you know, on the long run, a sense of stability, possibly tied up to another here. So the intention is there, the energy is there, everything is in place. And I, I see you doing it. Okay. In the current situation, the Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. There's commitment here, there's love, and there's you showing up with the sense of really hanging tight to this. Like, really, like, like I gotta make this happen or I'm not letting this go. If you, if you are finding yourself in these energies, definitely uh, also finding yourself in a place of I'm not letting this go because this, this feels good. In the immediate future, the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, the Five of Cups, I see a change where um, either you or whoever you're dealing with here is struggling, is going through something, uh, where things are stable, things are good, and then all of a sudden, somebody's going through something here. Um, okay, let's see what's going on. Let me do the Ace of Wands. Oop-de-doop. Stay right there. Okay. Okay, you don't want to stay there, then you come out. Okay. Uh, for the Ace of Wands, you get the Eight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. There's a lot of possible talk, and quite passionate, about the foundation of this commitment, marriage, whatever this is. There could be a lot of maybe, because I feel like it's growing, it wants to grow this energy, so maybe moving into a bigger house or maybe building something that is built together or maybe, I don't know, there's a lot of that going around, that kind of an energy. It could be a tad too passionate too fiery this conversation like okay you know what let's buy a house tomorrow or let's uh, let's go big you know or something there's a there's a sense of taking a notch down there you know it's not gonna burn it's not gonna it's okay we can take it down a notch there's there's definitely a whole lot of to it and i'm like okay what's going on here um because, I mean, you're talking about a very grounded, stable energy. And something in there doesn't match where somebody shows up and says, I'm like, chill. And I don't know who's doing that. If it's you, if it's them. It could be you. You have a side of fire here of in your energy for some reason. Or you show up quite passionate and you could be taking it up a little too much. Uh, especially as this is growing evolving or trying to which is coming from a great place a great intention of putting your passion into it you know but sometimes it's a little like there's a you know since, since somebody added a little too much gasoline to that fire uh at some point in there um let's do the queen of wands in the recent past the fool the seven of pentacles the queen of swords see that's a balance 
that's a balancing act right there between that passion that fire and that sense of you know let's keep it real too let's not go too wild with the fire let's let's keep it contained um so you're showing up there with this sense of wanting to grow wanting to add to something here that creates and sustains a, a sense of stability uh nice nice energy you're bringing to the table there let's do the ten of pentacles ace of cups the death card the ten of cups it's almost like an energy of um reinventing this um very solid energy that you're bringing to the table so it was looking good before it was looking stable before you want to change the color to it in a different better color more loving apparently there's a lot of love in there that you're throwing in that paint or something um where yeah you're taking it from okay so our home looked white we're making it purple or whatever color you want but it's a beautiful kind of a change it was beautiful before but now it's more beautiful you know what I mean? So, ah, no, this looks good. Let's do the temperance card. There's growth in there. And there's newly added ingredients, which are very similar to the old, but better. You know, the, the better version of those. Let's do the temperance card. The seven of wands, the star, the empress. You lack patience here through this process. And I noticed that with your, you know, that gasoline on that fire, you lack a little bit of patience because you do require patience for this to, to happen, right? First, you need to go buy the paint. Then you need to come home, work with it, start the painting process. It's not going to be done in five minutes because you're like, but I'm ready now. I know you're ready now. And that's what sucks <laughs> about the process because it's like, well... Yeah, but you gotta go through the steps, you know. Um, I see you're ready, energetically, yeah. And you feel ready for that change to take place. But there are some steps to follow. So you, at times I see you lacking patience because of that sense of I'm excited about it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it into practice. I'm making it happen. We're making it happen. If And I feel like there's somebody tied up to you here through this process. But... It's your energy that comes through as excited and uh, ready, ready to go. Okay, okay. But go through the steps, you know. Let's do the Four of Wands. You get the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil. Let me do the Four of Pentacles. The Justice card, the Tower, the Page of Wands. And let me do the Queen of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Whoever you're dealing with is definitely an equal to you in that department of, you know, from heart to heart. There's definitely a very matching resonance. There's someone you're, you're going to the store and buying paint with possibly or at least painting together the house or something. There's definitely a matching kind of an energy there. However... They're not in the same place energetically. They're almost there. They're with, the, their intentions are the same. Everything is the same here, except for the level that they're at energetically right now, in contrast with you, where you feel ready. You feel like you've grown. You feel like you've learned. You feel like this, that, and the other, um, which is great where you're at. You forget sometimes that they're not exactly in that place. They're in a good place on their own, wherever they're at. They're good, but they're still working on it. You know, you're still working on it. Um, but because you find yourself in this place of, I'm ready though, you may have the tendency to start controlling the situation without even realizing that you are, which is gonna bring an unhealthy kind of an energy to this whole deal. Um, If you were to remind yourself that they're not in the same place there, but they're equal with you, they're they're working with you side by side, they're painting that shit like no tomorrow, you know? Um, but if you remind yourself, hey, hold on, I'm here, they're there, 
That doesn't make me better though. You know, it makes me, I'm in my own journey. That's not to say that I'm better than them or I'm faster than them or I got to this place faster than them and I'm gonna wait for them, no worries. But that makes me better than them, right? No, wrong. Uh, no, it doesn't. And from that place of a little ego being stroked in there comes a sense of if I'm better, then I'm gonna run the show, you know? And all of this is happening possibly at a subconscious level where you're not even realizing, but the energies are born from this, you not realizing all of this. And then guess what? If you're better and you're running the show, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna start controlling the show, right? which might create a little bit of an issue here for the situation. We started off on a good note. The only thing that was a little bit problematic was that sense of, ooh, I'm fiery because I'm ready and I'm, let's go, you know? But if you don't pay attention to that, you get to this place here. I know better, I'm better. Uh, there's no such thing. There's your journey and there's their journey. None of it, yours is not better than theirs, theirs is not better than yours. There is no such thing of better, you know, because if there is, then there's ego involved. And when there's ego involved, all of this nonsense would, so would start to show up and flourish. And you would have something, you, you would have an ugly house, basically, after you're done painting. What you thought, oh my God, this is going to be the best color ever. Yeah, no. You started with the color of love here. It's starting to turn in the color of... I'm not gonna say crap, cause no, you're not there. You're not even close to there. But uh, color of, mm, yeah. Yeah. what you think is love, but mm, yeah. you know, cause you're throwing these energies in here, and you're not doing it on purpose, of course. You know, it's just that whole idea of healing and what it does to to people usually if you we, if we don't pay attention we get very caught up in that whole i've healed so i'm better nope nope you know so you got to pay attention with this energy here because i see you once it's being pointed out i see you paying attention to it and being like oh hold on humbleness is calling my name you know so i i see you recognizing that as well and I, I, I get it. You get there from a place of excitement, though. Oh, can't wait for the house to be done, you know. But um, keep in mind that you have a you have a teammate here, you know, and they're 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 with you, doing exactly what you're doing, but on a different path on their journey. You know what I mean? Which doesn't make them less than or you know. Um. In the immediate future for the Wheel of Fortune, you get the Ten of Swords, the Judgment card, the Three of Cups. Somebody's going through something here. There's a change. There's a sudden change to things. But I feel like it's one of those that um, belongs to either you individually or to whoever this is to you, where they're experiencing a change in an outside environment of this connection. Something's happening. There could be a loss of some sort, of something that felt good at some point, or that they still want to pursue that, but it's like, no. Uh, and again, I'm not sure on whose side at this point. I kind of see it attached to them, but it could also be you. Or, I don't know, a loss of something, possibly. Let's do the Emperor. For the Emperor, uh, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Yeah. yeah, it's something quite pressing, quite difficult, and it leaves you in a place of, I don't know what to do about it. So it almost comes in as a disruption to this. I would say it comes in as a break to this, as a pause. So you're finding yourself painting the house, you reached halfway, and then this happens, and it's like, I gotta attend to that and we'll resume when we're done there but this situation right here as it happens it leaves whoever is experiencing this in a place of man it's tough it's tougher than i thought and then i 
was expecting, but I have to deal with this and I don't know how at this point. Like, I don't know what to do about it yet, you know? So you're showing up a little bit lost if this is you. Again, I'm getting a sense it's them going through something here, some sort of a loss. But it could also be you. For the Five of Cups, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Hierophant. Whoever's gone through whatever here, the other person is definitely going to be very instrumental in whoever this is healing. Um, so if you're going through something, whoever is attached to you here at the house painting is going to be instrumental in your dealing with this and healing this. If it's them, you're going to be very instrumental to their healing over this. Um, cause I see it healing. I see it, you know, yeah, there's a little bit of an impasse here. There's a little bit of, but then I see the energy of the whole household situation here coming in and helping to heal. So the support from that, or if it's you, their support in this is going to be very, very important and very helpful. If it's them, your support to them is going to be, uh, it's, it's just going to speed things up going from a place of, I don't know how to deal with this into a place of I'm working on it. I'm healing it, you know, and it's, it's, it's going to get healed. I have no idea what this is though. It could, it could be from losing a job to losing a loved one. So don't freak out about it. I know some people are like, you're scared me. Don't be scared. It could be from losing your shoe. I don't know. It could be very small, but it could also be very big. But the good part about it is that as long as there's a support from the other side uh, of the spectrum here of this connection, things should be good. So keep on painting that house. Don't paint it ugly. Ugly love. Paint it good love. Because uh, if that ego steps in, you're going to start painting it ugly love. Um, from the universe, you get the five of pentacles, the star, the hangman. Yeah, there is a loss at play somewhere. Somewhere that may create a little bit of a pause over the growth of whatever it is that you're working on here, which is, again, I get a sense of stability with a partner by your side, possibly. Uh, if not, it's just for you, but there is a disruption to it, which is fine. It's it's kind of meant to happen because somehow I feel like there's some lessons in it that might actually help you build some more here on this energy that you're already kind of building on. So, okay, uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.